Let's go over here to the wall and grab the Snapshot 1.2. This is a kite made by Prism. They consider it a speed foil because it's super quick. And open it up, take a look at the contents. So if we look inside the bag here, we should be finding these key elements. We need our flight guide, our instructions. We also need the kite winder that has the kite lines and our handles on it. And of course, we need the kite itself. Let's open that kite up and take a look at it. So don't be overwhelmed by all the spaghetti looking cords in here. None of that is really important to us except for these two key connection points. Sometimes it's called pigtails or toe points. This is where we connect our line set to the kite, which allows us to control the kite. To connect them, we're going to use a simple knot called a lark's head knot. That knot is created simply by doing the following. Take your two fingers and place them inside the loop at the end of your kite line. Then bring your fingers up and over the line, pinching your fingertips beneath the kite line again. As you can see here, you've created basically two loops. If you pinch the top of those two loops and hold on to them with one hand, you can take then the toe point of the kite and pass it through those loops. At that point, simply cinch up on the lark's head knot until it rests behind the knot at the end of the pigtail. That simple connection connects you to the kite and to the fun. Let's do it again here on this blue line so that we can practice. Again, two fingers up, over the top, create the two loops by pinching, and pass that pigtail through the two loops you've created. Cinch it down, and we're ready to go. Hey, let's take this kite out into the field now and test it. We're out at our local flying field, Marina Green, here in San Francisco with uh, Alcatraz as our beautiful backdrop. Let's open the kite up now and find those two key connection points. Once again, we're going to use our lark's head knot to connect the kite line, and then we'll be ready to fly. One thing I like to do before flying is to kind of test to make sure the bridle is not tangled in any way. And we've got the kite up, and as you can see, it's flying and pretty happy and ready to go. So we're going to bring it right back down again. I'm going to secure the kite, since I'm flying by myself, with a water bottle placed on the trailing edge. Backing away, I simply unfold the kite lines from the winder. You see here, they simply fall off either side of the winder. And I simply slide my hand up inside the red handle and do the same with the blue handle on my left. Arms extended and the lines taut to the kite. Look behind yourself quickly just to make sure there's no obstacles. Take one large step backwards and create a sweeping motion with your hands towards your waist. That motion will launch the kite up. The kite will fly pretty much directly up into the sky. What you want to remember at this point is to keep your elbows in nice and tight to your body. And to control the kite, hold left, I can loop the kite left. And if I hold right, I can loop the kite to the right. Every once in a while, bring your kite up to 12 o'clock up above your head and check in with whatever your local wind indicators are. In our case at Marina Green, we're fortunate to have this beautiful American flag. Using these wind indicators is great for helping you keep the wind at your back and flowing fully onto your kite. Well, now that you've seen this video, we sure hope that you understand that these kites are very, very easy and fun to fly. We encourage you to try it out. Go out there and fly free.